Hi, welcome to Make Monday. I'm Paul. We have a project today. Um, some of you may remember a little while back we built this nice welding table that we've been using here in the show. And uh, I've gotten quite a bit of questions about it. And one of the kind of reoccurring questions is uh, what are some of the options and things you can get with the table? Well, one of the things I noticed after we made this table, you always need more space, whether your projects get bigger or you just start piling more crap on your welding table so you need more space to weld. Uh, they offer an extension table called the, the uh, Fabrac. And it's a one foot extension and it's made with the same tab and slot configuration that the original table was made for. So we've ordered one that's come in. Uh, it's got a top, a back, and a, and a couple sides and it just bolts to the side of the table. And a real, real simple installation. Uh, just to kind of give you a, a quick look at what it would look like when it's all put together, it's gonna to be kind of a wedge shape. You're gonna have the top here and the, the new side, and then this is gonna be the underside where it connects. I got that wrong. <laughs> this is gonna be the top. This is gonna to be the side that's on the outside, and this is the part that connects to uh, the existing welding table. So. Uh, as you can see, it has the slots and it has uh, and the tabs, and it all just slips together very, very simply. So uh, one of the things you might want to do is when, if you order this, one of the first things you might consider doing is wiping it down because sometimes there's machining oil and, or, or just, you know, uh, enough dirt on there to, you know, either get dirty handling it or you, you could even possibly interfere with your welds. So we're going to put it together. There's no real instruction sheet. It's kind of a common sense thing. Uh, it pretty much only goes together one way, so you can't really make a mistake in the assembly. And then the only thing you want to make sure of is when you are tacking it together, that you have it clamped in the proper places so that you don't get any distortion and things don't pull apart and you keep a nice tight fit through all the components that you're welding together. And you'll see that as we go along, because we'll do, be doing some clamping uh, before we tack weld. And then once it's, everything is tack welded in place, of course, then we can just go ahead and do our, our regular welds. But even then, we're still gonna kind of spot them around so that we don't end up with uh, any kind of distortion or anything. We keep the heat input even throughout the table so that it doesn't warp on us. And then we have a nice flat welding surface, all right? So that's, uh, that's the plan. And uh, it's not gonna get done any sooner if we don't start. So let's get going on this. Okay, we have everything wiped down, and now it's time to start dry fitting it up, uh, getting it ready for the assembly. Now, one of the things I'm gonna do is, uh, this is the table top, and I, of course I have it sitting on my table. I'm gonna kind of move it over so a little bit of it is hanging over the edge, because I'm gonna need to clamp some things. Uh, you know, if you have somebody to help you do this, it's so much the better. Uh, it can be done by one person, as I'm about to demonstrate. However, uh, you know, some of these pieces are pretty heavy. In fact, this whole thing is gonna go somewhere probably around 75 pounds, probably. So if one of these pieces happens to fall off and hit you on the foot, uh, you could get in some, a little bit of issue here. So this piece is gonna be the back. You have two pieces like this that are gonna be the sides. And then these pieces with the big cutout in the center are gonna be the, the struts or so it, it, that are gonna be in the center. So basically it's a tab and slot, you stick it in there. here, and another one goes here. I'm going to kind of hold off of putting the end pieces on because even though there's tab and slots, these are, are kind of held in place. These being right on the edge can just tumble right off. So I can put those and deal with those uh, a little bit later. This is going to be the part that connects it to the table. You know, just, just so you, you know here, you see this little key-shaped piece here? There's a, the bolts come with this that is going to stick out from this existing part of the table. And they're just going to, you're just going to, it's going to stick out. You're going to slide that right through like that and drop it down, just like uh, a lot of fasteners that we have around the house and stuff do. So that, that's a pretty slick with a little way to fasten it too. So, But this is the part where you have to be a little careful that you don't drop this thing on your foot because there's no real real connection here. All right, well you saw me struggling there trying to hold this and the whole thing's moving around and I'm trying to get that in place. Uh, one of the nice things about this table having all these holes, I'm just gonna use this bolt, 
drop it through there, and now this isn't going to move around nearly as much as it was before, which is going to be a big benefit to me. I have it somewhat in place. Now, what I want to do is clamp that so that it stays up and doesn't come falling off on me as I'm working on this a little bit later. All right, now I've got that piece pretty securely in place. I'm still going to be cautious as I'm walking around it because you never know when it might slip. Now, these are the side pieces. I'm going to do the side that's away from me first and kind of hopefully that will stay in place a little bit here with another clamp. piece is going to be ultimately the side pieces are all right got that let me use this piece to kind of hold all right that'll hold that piece in and then once I have this piece in, like so, we pretty much all got a dry fit together. We just do a little bit more clamping job. Now, I have been wearing gloves because uh, even though these are nicely cut and pretty nice, you still might have a sharp edge or two. So you wanna really kind of watch that you don't hurt yourself too badly with, with cuts and stuff. So I, that's why I've been wearing the gloves, but now I have to kind of finagle with these little clamps. It's going to be easier to do it without a glove. I'm just going to be a little more careful I don't get cut. Okay, I've got this together now. Um, what it is is what we call a dry fit. Uh, there's no welding done yet. Uh, you want to make sure everything is nice and, and put in place. Uh, I got the center pieces put in, and then you put on the back and the front. And you know, clamp it in place so they don't fall and you know, land on your feet and hurt you and all that kind of stuff. And then the side pieces go on kind of last because they just kind of slip in place and there's nothing, even though they're tabs and slots, there's no, there's no side to the slot so we can just slip right back out quite easily. So uh, once you got it all together and clamped, you want to look for the fit up. Uh, make sure you can't see any big spaces or gaps underneath anything. Uh, you don't have to worry too much about how it fits up on the top. You're really talking about the fit up of these struts to the front and the back and the sides. And once that's all good clamped and tight fit, then you can start making some tack welds to hold it all together. All right, so let's do that. Okay, tack welding is done. Uh, I, I kind of spotted it around one side to the other, back and forth until they were all done. Uh, that's just to avoid any kind of distortion or anything. Don't want anything pulling or pushing. Uh, you know, that's gonna pull things out of place. Uh, the only thing that's not tack welded is the top of the table is still, this is all just sitting on what's gonna be the top of the table. So for me to tack that into place, I have to flip that over and then we'll, we'll do that. And, We'll be done, pretty much done with the assembly and the welding of our, of our part, okay? So let's get this flipped over and we'll continue on.
Okay, we have the bottom all tacked together, and now we gotta do the top. Uh, you see there's a bunch of clamps on here that weren't on here before because when I flipped it over, I could see that there was some gap between the top and the front piece. So I clamped that down so we have a nice tight seam all the way across. And now I'll make my tack welds around there very similar to what I did with the, uh, with the bottom piece here. And uh, we'll be pretty nearly done. And then once, once all the tack welds are done, well then uh, I'll just go back in and fill in between the ears on this tab and slot deal. What you want to do is get uh, my little pointer go to here. You want to get down inside here, and you want to make sure you're tying in the, the two side walls of the slot to the tab that's sticking in through there. So you want to just get down here, but you don't want to put in so much metal that it bubbles up over the top because then you're not going to have a smooth surface on your table. I mean, if you do bubble up, it's not that big a deal. You just have to grind it smooth. So you want to avoid some grinding. Just don't, don't fill it up all the way. Just make sure you tie in the, uh, both sides of the uh, slot. Okay? Okay, the tack welding is complete. So now the only thing left to do is to fill in the rest of the, uh, you know, the, all the, tap, the slot and grooves here and uh, slot and tabs, fill those all in. And the welding part will be complete. And then all that will be left to be done is to bolt it to the side of the table and we've got a nice one foot extension for our table. So let's make these finished welds and then we'll be almost done with the project. Okay, our welding is finished. Now all that remains is to attach it to the table. Um, what the kit comes with is a bolt such as this, with a big heavy washer and a nut. This is gonna go through, the, you know, I'm choosing to go through the fourth hole down. You'll see the slot holes here. You can either do the second or the fourth, depending on the clearances that you have underneath. So I'm choosing the fourth, because that's just that I have better access to when I have to go to tighten it up. Now you notice this it's a shoulder bolt, you know, so it's got some part that sticks out here. And that's going to hook in there and drop right down in the slot. That's the plan. Okay. All right. We got our table welded. We've got it mounted. The only thing left to do, you can see the little seam here. The only thing left to do is to tighten up the uh, bolts and everything to hold it up. That'll pull it in tight. But uh, we'll just grab a wrench and tighten that up, and we've got a nice little extension on our table. A lot more workspace and uh, really not much that, plus a fun little welding project as well. So uh, a lot of benefits to that. Anyway, that's our project for today. So hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time on Big Monday. Well, if you learned something today or like what you saw, please feel free to subscribe and keep an eye out for new episodes every Big Monday.